Hello, and welcome to Top of Machine. I'm Josh Cocker. Today we're going to do some single point threading um, on the lathe, and uh, I'm going to show you how to properly set up your lathe and uh, how to properly measure um, your threads using thread wires. So uh, let's. Uh, I got a chunk of steel in the in the lathe right now. Let's uh, let's get started. So these are the inserts I use. I use a little top notch um, insert. Um, I've had really good success with these. They're, uh, let me hold it where you can see it. But I've had really good success with these, and they also make notching inserts, so they're a pretty good little insert. And the tool holder is right here. It just clamps in there, and that's how you thread. So I just want to go through how we're going to set all this up and how to run it all. Um, I'm going with a six pitch to start with because we're using two inch material so by our thread chart here if you can read that um, that would be an AD with the lever in that position and we're at A here and D up top on this one and then this lever is what engages either our lead screw or our feed shaft so we're all set up and we're going to run at about we're going to run about 68 RPM on the spindle. It's a two inch, two inch shaft, so we'll try to keep it slow. And over here is where we engage our, our lead screw on this lever. And then uh, you go by the dial here and you line up with the number as it comes around. And uh, there's a little bit to this. You can actually use that dial for um, you can do a two start thread with that also, which I will probably do a video on that here soon. I've, I did one the other day just to practice it. So your uh, compound is set at 29 and a half degrees. And you start out with your compound backed out and at zero. So you set it at a, a backed out but at a zero. Well, let me set this up and show you how we'll touch off and then we set our cross slide we touch off and set our cross slide at zero and then we back that one out each time to take our next cut so let's go ahead and, and touch it off and take our first pass and we'll turn in about fifty thousandths on our compound on our first pass Zeroing our cross slide dial. Zero. I'm going to turn it in 50. And I wait for a number to come up to line up. And there's a four. I'm on four right now. So we run our first cut. I'm only going to go that far. Now we go back to zero on our cross slide. And I'm going to take another 30 and I hit 4 again sometimes you land on the same number sometimes you don't I'm not getting real precision with this because it's uh, just for demonstration purposes but um, sometimes I would set up my dial indicator and, and stop it at the zero bit of a heavy cut, but I think we're okay. I don't think we broke our insert. I'm going to take a light cleanup cut. basic idea of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hurry up finish this thread up and then uh, we'll get the thread wires out and uh, show you how to measure threads over wires. Alright, 
as you can see, I got the thread wires on there already. I took it down a ways, but I didn't. Um, I don't. I'm not all the way. I know I'm not all the way. I just wanted to see where I'm at um, to get an idea how much more we need to go. So if you put one wire on the bottom, two on top, and then you measure over those wires. And right now I'm at 2.060. So you go to your chart because that this is the six pitch. We're using the 0.092 wires. And we are taking the measurement we got minus the number in the constant line on the chart here. Let's see if I can get that over so you can see it. So take 2.060 minus 0.13. Eight. And that gives us our pitch diameter of 1.928. And on a two inch, two inch six thread, two inch six, we need to be 1.889 to 1.880. So we got a little bit to go yet, but uh, that's that's the basics. That's how you cut a single point thread, and that's how you measure your thread. Now I'm gonna turn this off down down a little bit, and uh, we're gonna do a different pitch, and we'll we'll try this again, just so you can get an idea of see how it's done differently, you know, different pitches. And so let me uh, take this all down. I'll turn that down and then we'll start over. Okay, so I turned it down to an inch and eleven sixteenth, and going by our Bible. Um, inch and 11 16th. Let's do a 20 pitch. That is a, that's a listed pitch in here. And we can get our numbers, our pitch diameter of 1.648 to 1.653. So let's, uh, let's set it up for a 20 pitch, which means we just move our levers over here on our chart. Our thread chart, we go, will be a BC, B, we're in here. And being a 20 pitch, I could probably run it pretty fast. So let's, uh, let's um, get started. Alright, so again, we zero out, we back up and zero out our, our compound. So that's at zero. And we come over, and we just touch it off, just a light touch. And you might even be able to see the line when I touch it. Now we zero our cross slide. And I'm going to take it in 30 thousandths on the compound right now. And let's just catch a number as it comes by. for that size, which 20 pitch is going to be the 029 wire. So I'll go grab those and we'll measure them. Okay, 
So, any of you who watched my gray drum drive garden tractor videos saw me doing single point threading and I lost one of the thread wires down in the chip pan and I've been looking, I've been cleaning, I've been trying to find it, it's gone. Um, I did buy two sets of these and I would suggest you do the same just to uh, make sure you don't lose it, but this sheet of paper down here is what's going to save you if you do drop one. So, make sure you put something down in your down in your ways to to catch your wire when you do drop it because you will drop it. This is not an easy thing to get these up here. And, uh, and I've been doing this a long time and I'm still trying to figure out a good way to do it. So, we're uh, eventually might come up with something that'll work good, but until then, I'll just keep struggling and make sure that I have something down in the pan to catch my wires when I drop them. Alright, feels like I got a good engagement on my wires. Yeah, very good. And we are one seven one three five. Oh, we go over to our chart. One point seven one three five minus and this is the twenty pitch, so we take and subtract point oh four and that has our pitch diameter of 1.669. So 1.669 on inch and 11 sixteenths point. So we got a little ways to go yet. Um, we're, we're about. a little over 20 thousandths to go. So, I can uh, take another pass on that. But, instead of taking another pass on that, maybe I'll turn this down again, and we'll try a super fine pitch, just to see how, how that works, because I think you guys would enjoy that probably more. And I'll bring the camera right in, get it real close so you can really see that cut. So this one is just for fun. We are set at B, E. I got the spindle at my max of 487 because it's going to be a fine thread. And we are set at, you see that, 92 pitch. So let's uh, come right up here. I'll get you guys in position. Right down in here if we can. As close as I possibly can, because this is going to be an interesting one. Take a little finagling here to get the camera just right. And I still don't like your position there. Might be a little rocky, but it should work. So let's uh, let's cut this this thread. So we touch off. Zero our cross slide. take 10,000 on our compound, which I don't know if it's going to be too much or enough, but I've never done this fine of a thread before, so we're going to find out. And I missed my number, so we'll just wait a little bit for it to come around. And here it is. one more pass on that because I don't know what it's going to do. We'll take 
five thousand. You can't can't really measure with the wires because the wires only go to 48 pitch. But boy, that does feel like a 90, 92 pitch. So there you have it. Uh, single point threading on the lathe, measuring over thread wires. Uh, those wires I use are the PD. Thread measuring wires, you can get them, uh, quite a few of the tool suppliers have them. They're about 35 bucks for a set. Um, but they're they're kind of difficult to use. Um, I've been using them for a long time and I still have problems with them. But uh, they work good, you can get a good measurement. Uh, a lot of the threads I do, because it's repair stuff, is uh, matched to what I'm doing, so I don't usually have to use them that often. Uh, usually I have nuts or whatever it's threading into to match it to, or I'm making both pieces, or, you know, usually don't have to have to use them, but when you do, they're, they're really nice to have. So the PD thread measuring ones. Now, every lathe will be different. Uh, I've run a few lathes that, that are nothing like these Monarchs. These Monarchs are really, really nice to run. They're really good machines. Um, but I've also run some that were just horrible as far as setting up the threading and the feeds and just just awful machines. But um, so everyone will be different. You'll you know, and you'll get used to what you have. So you know, there's always you you set your your feet by your chart. You watch for your, your thread dial. You catch a number as it comes by. Just always start on a number. Um, it's just easier. You can go in between the numbers, but that'll give you. Um, you can do a two-start thread that way, and I've done that. Um, and I'll do a video on showing how to do that as well um, for a two-start and possibly a three-start, four-start, six-start. I'll, sh I'll show that eventually. That's, that's going to be one I'm going to practice a little more before I try to show you guys. So um, that's basically it. So like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. Go to our website, www.coppermachine.com, and subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned. Uh, so until next time, let's get out in the shop, and let's get it done right the first time.